What is up guys, it's Double Winning, and today we are playing Power Rangers Legacy Wars. You can hit that little skip button in the bottom right of the screen if you want to skip through the tutorial for this game. But for those of you who have never played before, I figured I'd throw in the tutorial footage there, just so you can get kind of an idea of what this game's like. Um, Power Rangers has always been a big part of my life, and with the recent uh, reboot movie that came out, which I saw and I loved, um, I thought it was like, it was. if you're a Power Rangers fan, I thought it was great. Um, you know, I thought it had a nice modern twist to it and stuff like that. Um, but you know, you still got that that nostalgia feel, which is exactly what they were going for. But it wasn't like super overpowering nostalgia that was like, oh, okay, we get it, like uh, Power Rangers, blah blah. blah. But seriously, growing up, Power Rangers was a huge part of my life. Um, when I was five years old, like, I was obsessed with it. I would ride the bus with my grandma. I'd be screaming the theme song. I would go up to, like, you know, kind of, like, kind of grumpier looking people. And I'd be like, you're the villain. And she would be like, no, Nick, don't do that. But um, seriously, Power Rangers was a huge part of my life. And uh, so I figured what a perfect game to, um, you know, put up on my channel. Um, especially since this game did come out somewhat recently. Uh, you can download it on the App Store or uh, iOS or whatever you want to do. Um, I'm playing it on um, an emulator. I've got an Android emulator on my phone just because, or on my computer, um, just because it can be a little difficult for me to uh, play on my phone and like get it onto my computer and all that. Um, but I mean, it's pretty much the same as playing on your phone. Um, if anything, uh, it's playing games on my phone. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know, it's like, it's pretty much the same thing, you're just using a mouse instead of clicking your um, button, but I mean, it is made for mobile, so, um, you know, that, take that for what it is. But basically, in this game, it's a fighting game that is, uh, essentially, like, you use cards to use different types of attacks, and they have, um, uh, they've got, like, a rock, paper, scissors kind of thing going, you know, like, quick attacks, beats, strong attacks, strong attacks, or breakers, um, beat blocks, and then blocks beat quick attacks. And so, um, in the beginning of this, you know, I'm just beating, I'm just beating these tutorials, and I just whiff that assist card there because I, I honestly thought the hollow trainers or the tutorial uh, fighters or whatever would actually be fighting back. I didn't realize that I could just stand there and just kind of tap, tap the, uh, tap the skills until I died. But um, so um, I'm gonna get into some real time PvP later on in this video, and um, I get my ass whooped the uh, first couple times because I didn't quite, I don't quite understand at first how the fighting works. Um, but I kind of kick it into gear um, later on. So um, if you uh, if you check out the first couple fights and you uh, are like, wow, the winning, you just keep losing. Um, don't fret. I do eventually learn how to play the game. Um, but uh, with a game like this, um, you know, it's it's the same concept of pretty much every mobile game. You know, you've got your your stuff like you unlock your little things that you know you can unlock over and over and over to unlock or to uh, upgrade your stuff you know it's not just like you unlock it and you're done um, the whole concept of the mobile thing is like you always can be upgrading to higher and higher and then like with enough skill you can beat someone who has higher cards than you but in reality it's going to be a lot easier if you have higher cards so if you don't want to spend your whole time playing then maybe you should throw some money our way um, and then also if you uh even if you do spend a whole lot of time playing they put like little soft caps on stuff you can do and they usually do this through like timed things so like if you win a match they'll give you like a pack or a box or whatever the game calls it, a chest and then it'll be like oh it'll open up in two hours and it's like if you don't want to wait the two hours though you can toss this like 45 cents and open it right now and that just kind of builds on it and builds on it and builds on it and it just gets uh, more and more ridiculous and i totally understand how people can drop tons of money into games like these because the way that they are designed is just like it's meant to make it very easy to just throw like you know a couple bucks here a couple bucks there or if you have a lot of expendable income and you want to be really really good at the game or like get a lot of stuff for the game you know tch, drop a hundred bucks what's a hundred bucks if you're gonna be playing the game you know for a hundred hours you know um, at least that's the idea they go for so um, in this game they have a lot of different uh, warriors or heroes or champions or whatever fighters you want to call them um, and so of course like one of the first things I saw was I saw that uh, like they had a special promotion for Tommy Oliver which I mean Tommy Oliver that's my boy um, when uh, when he left the series I was really really sad and then when he came back in Dino Thunder I literally started watching the show again and I was like I think that was like late middle school or something like that and I was like Tommy, Tommy, my boy. And so I was looking at it, and it's like 10 bucks, and you unlock Tommy and you get some other stuff, and it's like four times value. And I was just like, 
wow, like if if I had like just money to throw around, I would probably end up buying this. But um, instead, I was uh, playing around with Billy Cranston, the Blue Ranger, and I had the Red Ranger and stuff like that. And um, honestly, I like I wasn't feeling the uh, wasn't feeling the the Red Ranger in a couple of my matches and stuff like that. And uh, I ended up going back to him later on. Um, you can kind of see on the screen now like how many different types of characters there are. Um, which in the Power Rangers universe, like, I mean, there's 20 seasons, let's say at a minimum, there's five characters for every season, like a hundred different characters. And that's like without even really trying that hard. Okay. And welcome for all those people that decided to hit that little skip button. Here's my first PVP match. Um, I honestly thought this was going to be super easy. Like I was like, oh, like, you know, this guy, I started at 30 rating, he had 25. So I was like, oh, that means he's already lost one. And like. I mean, like, I consider myself a gamer. Like, I should be able to beat this. Like, and I just get whooped on. I'm just like, he pins me in the corner, and I'm like trying to use abilities, and he's just countering me and stuff like that. And like, I get a little bit of damage off on him and stuff like that, but it just feels like everything I'm trying to do, I just don't get it. I'm like, oh, like, do I do I use my quick attack? Do I use my power attack? Do I use my my block? And like, why are some of my quick attacks different? Like, I'm not paying attention to the icons because some of the quick attacks are like really quick, and some of them are like like they're technically because they're not technically quick attacks i guess they're strikes but generally they're quicker than the like the the breaker moves and stuff like that so um but some of them are quicker than the others and so um i was super embarrassed the fact that like i i lose this first match and i was just like oh my gosh and so i honestly was like well i guess i'm just uh i guess i'm just not gonna upload this game because uh, but i mean it's you know I, I guess i thought it would be um beneficial for you guys because if you guys um, decide to download this game and play it and you too get rocked in your first round like this um you won't feel as bad because um you know what happens you know that guy was at 25 rating means he lost his first round just like me you can see the minus five um and so you know i get some points for my corruption box which is just kind of like a box that you get just for playing uh i think you get it like every day if you play like x amount of matches and stuff like that and so um i go into my second round here against sky ward and i'm like i'm feeling good i'm bright eye i'm bushy tail i'm like all right i've learned so much from last time and at first like i'm doing okay here and then um, it just starts to go down go downhill here. Like I'm getting countered on all my moves, and like I'm getting a little bit of damage in here, but I'm just not quite sure how to like get the combo in. Like basically, the once you kind of learn how to fight, it's all about like finding out when they can't stop you, milking that for as much damage as possible, um, and then all the while you're playing this rock paper scissor game with limited resources. You know because yeah, it's simple. Like oh, block beat strike. Uh, strike beats the heavy and then heavy beats the block but you don't always have the option to use those as well as the timing of moves and the length of moves and like the range of moves and stuff like that kind of adds these small little factors so it's not as simple as just rock paper scissors and so like right here i was feeling pretty good and like i'm watching now and i'm like ah i know what i could have done like uh so i do get a little bit better later on in the game um but right here boom just get rocked and so i literally took back-to-back -back pvp losses and i was like i was like wow like i i'm just i'm just not very good at this game um and i think this might be actually where i'm just like all right i'm just gonna switch characters because clearly this you know new age power ranger is just not for me clearly i need to go back to the classics the mighty morph and power ranger with billy cranston a little uh little blue ranger action he's got that tricera combo and actually, the first game, the first fight I had, I did win with Billy, but it glitched out. My recording glitched out, so um, this is actually my second game with Billy, and I'm going against another Billy, and his name's actually Savitar. Shout out to The Flash. I still haven't caught up on that, but um, I've, I've been told I need to. And so you can see right here, 454 health to 336. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm getting down to 272. I got the stun on him. I didn't have enough energy to follow up, though, which is a big part in this game. It's like... If you can get them stunned, you just get a free attack. You can use whatever one of your attacks that has the longest windup and is going to do the most damage. But I'm feeling pretty good right now. I get a nice little combo there. I'm getting them down to about 120 health. I'm feeling so good. I put in the block to drop block that tree knee combo, but you know doesn't even hit me. And then he pulls me in with the little power lance pull, which I have on my screen as well. And I'm like, all right, tricera combo. He hits the block. I'm like, okay, like chill there, dude. You're at 75 health. Like let me just let me just hit you a few times. You're at 30 health. Like, things are looking pretty good. He pulls me out. I'm at 100 health. He hits me with the combo. I'm at 60 health. I'm like, okay, let me just kick you in the face. And I get the win. And I was like, oh, 
Thank goodness, because I thought he was going to somehow get a turnaround victory on me, and I was going to be really, really upset. But uh, you can see I'm filling up that corruption box, um, and we're going to hop right into the next game here, and I'm going into New Movie Ranger, which, take note of that name there, because uh, uh, it becomes my little personal rival here. So we we're both level one, and he's starting off with the uh, the new black um, uh, Power Ranger from the new movie, and he has just got me boxed in a corner, already did like 200 damage while I've done like 10 damage. And so I'm trying to get myself out of that corner, but he's just comboing, and he's, he's blocking my moves and stuff like that, and I'm not feeling super great, but finally... Finally, I was able to block one of his quick strikes, and then he blocks one of my quick strikes, so I didn't get anything, and I just wasted a bunch of energy um, using my uh, using my uh, power lance pull, which is five energy, you know, and you, you can kind of see how quickly you're getting the energy. So, being able to use those two and three energy moves um, is is okay to throw away sometimes, but like when you're using those five energy moves and you throw them away, it can get really, really bad. So I pull him in for the uppercut. I hit him with the uppercut. I'm like, all right, time to combo. Pop, pop, pop. I get my strike in before he does, and then I back off because I have no energy. So I'm like, okay. But then he gets me with the uppercut, and I'm like, oh, shoot, I'm at 89 health. I get the vaulting kick. I'm like trying to do anything, but he's countering my moves, and I'm just out, pow, pow. It takes me out. I was feeling so good about Billy, and then he gives, he gives the perfect reaction. I'm just like, ah, why do I lose, you know? And uh, so let's hop right into another game because, you know, can't accept the losses, you know. And plus the loading screens and all that junk, I figure like you guys don't really need to see all that. So I tried to edit out as much as possible. So right off the bat, this this uh, Zeo Ranger, the Zeo Pink Ranger, has this one move and you guys will look for it. And it's like she like dashes forward with her shield and it's like it's, it's so freaking good. Um, and so we got the double pink ranger assault going on. I'm trying to block anything. I'm trying to get any sort of momentum because she's already done 250 damage to me and I had barely even touched her. And so finally she starts to do a charge move. So I get the quick move on. I get a little bit of a combo going there. She gets me the strike. I tried to block it backwards, but so I just move forward. I keep attacking. I'm really trying to just like, just freaking bring the business on her. But, um, I get the little staff stabby thing in, and I'm finally starting to even up the damage a little bit. And there it is. Look at that move. That move is ridiculous. I was just like, oh my gosh, okay, please do something. And I was like, all right. So she just stunned me. I get the block, and then I get the combo. I'm like, all right, let's build some momentum, get the vaulting kick. And I'm like, do the block, I block. I'm finally able to get a little bit of a counterattack. She gets another strike on my block. And so I'm like, yes, here we go. Get the Kimberly. But she blocks it so it only does two damage. I'm freaking out. I use the Mighty Lance. Oh, but her quick attack is too fast. And she gets the spinny shield thing on me, and it just wrecks me. K.O. Looking back, I'm like, oh, I kind of clicked some different cards and did some different types of dodging, but uh, we're going to open up one of the noble boxes here and see what we get. We get some power coins, and we get Danny Delgado, the Wild Force Black Ranger, and so I'm like, okay, we'll unlock this guy, put him on the squad, see how he is. He has a bison kick, um, which is a, a stun. He, it's a really long windup, so, um, but it's got a stun on it, which is pretty cool. So I decided to unlock it, you know, get the explosion. That's pretty sweet and all that. Um, and then, so I was like, all right, well, I mean, brand new character, might as well throw him in. Figured I'd replace the Black Ranger for the different Black Ranger, because um, the, they both have like melee moves, while Kimberly is just like a bow and arrow. So it's nice to have like the option of either the, uh, the range or the melee, even though you only get one at a time. So we're going up against Austin, who's also level one. Um, we both have around 550 to 560 health. And I get a nice combo to start the game here. Like, look at that. Just stringing them together. I do a nice 150 damage and I back off because I have no power. And then he whiffs one of his moves. So I'm able to start off with another combo. And then I back off, dodge the trainee, but I, and I step forward for the very last hit, which puts a stun on me. But for some reason, when he comes back in, he just blocks. So I'm able to start another string of combo. Like, I really like Billy's quick move, like the Tricera combo in the vault lands like they all do little bits of damage but i'm able to string them together um instead of having to go all in on one or two moves and if i miss one it's not a big deal so he's finally starting to get back some damage on me but at this point it's pretty much all she wrote so i just kick him in the face and get that ko on him so now that i've actually been able to get some wins i uh i think i've got a box that i'm gonna open i think i i get like a grand morph box and i get super excited about that because i'm like oh like what's a grand morph box oh it takes two hours to unlock and I'm like, hmm, well, I do have my corruption box, so let me open that first. Corruption box, like I said, it's just something you get for playing enough in a, in a game. And so I actually get 70 Kimberly Hart uh, Zeo shards, and then I get like eight of this rare one. I'm like, 
well, uh, let's go ahead and upgrade Kimberly Hart. Like, absolutely, let's get that bow to do some damage. So I didn't really know how much I could get her to upgrade, but she started at 56, and I think I get two upgrades on her. So let's see those two upgrades in action here. So I get the first upgrade, get her to warrior level two, get the second upgrade, and so she goes from 56 to 84 damage. So almost doubling her damage uh, with those two upgrades. So I was pretty excited about that. Um, and then uh, I think we hop right back into another game because I'm like, all right, let's try out this new uh, this new Kimberly here. Um, first, I check out this uh, the Gia Moran from Super Mega Force, which I never watched, so I don't really know what it is. But I was like, all right, let's get going. So we hop into the next game, um, double winning, 118 medals, going up against New Movie Ranger. All right, so this guy gave me the business the first time we fought, and I'm like, all right, I'm ready. I remembered this name. And this time, I'm starting off a little bit stronger here, except for um, I miss, I kind of whiff two moves there, but I get a little bit, a little two hit combo on there, and then I get the nice, uh, uh, nice hit there, but then he blocks, he breaks my block, I get the quick attack in, he blocks, counters with the quick attack, I'm like, alright, just, you know, get, get the quick attack in, he's got me boxed in a corner, I was like, no, you are not going to beat me again, so I'm just whipping out those, those quick moves, he doesn't have his block to stop me, so I've got him down to 310 health, I dodge the charge move, I hit him with that pull, and then he hits me with the strike, does over 100 damage, I get the block to stop the strike, I'm like, alright, let's do the pull move, but he hits me with the block, so right now we've got a good back and forth going, we're both around 200 health, I'm like, no, I'm not going to let new movie ranger level one my rival for the rest of this game beat me and so i whiff a power move he whiffs his power move i hit him quickly with a strike that was really great timing and i'm like all right back off slow down slow down don't have a lot of power get the quick move off on him i've got him down to 46 health i'm like all right i just need one more move i launched the quick attack boom boom oh, he's down to 32 health because he blocked it he hits me with a quick move i get the block i'm like all right get that kick him in the face oh man i was so happy i was like yeah that's right you thought you was going to step to me? That's Billy Cranston. This is my era. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Come on. So now I'm feeling real good. And so we've got about five minutes left on one of our noble boxes. And so um, I don't remember if I decide to... Uh, oh, yeah. I was just like clicking. Wanted to find out like what exactly the medals were. And I see I have another achievement. So I go ahead and I lock that. Get myself some XP. And I was kind of surprised because a lot of these mobile games, like you'll level up really, really quickly in the beginning and then it'll slow down. But in this game, it seems like the leveling up isn't as important because um, you're not like getting things for it. You're just allowing yourself to unlock new things. So um, this time I'm going up against Cheeto. And uh, if you look at the health bars, I have 618 health to 480. So naturally, I already have an advantage. Except for he starts off by pretty much getting me down to 480 health right off the bat but Kimberly fires off an arrow it actually does miss but I get I get the stun on him but unfortunately I don't have enough power to follow up so I just back off a little bit I'm like all right let's see so I launch off my support and it only hits his support but then I get the mighty the mighty lance or whatever it's called and so I'm backing off I get a nice block there I stun him I hit him with the pull hit him with the quick combo and I'm like all right back off back off get your power back up I've got him down to 190 health he's up I'm at 473 he hits me real quick he blocks my move gets me with a quick attack i'm like all right maybe i can block the last one which i do stops the combo and then i hit him with my quick attacks because he doesn't have his block all right i back off i use my power move but his power move is just a little bit quicker so i'm like all right get the block stop the strike hit him with my quick move hit him with another quick i'm like all right all right he's down to 33 health i just need to do a little bit more damage get him with the lance hit him in the face knock him in the air get the ko you win i'm feeling pretty good right now because i'm like all right I'm starting to understand this game I'm starting to actually get some wins, and um, I think this is when I'm like, all right, you know what, I think, this is where I unlock the morph box, or do I, uh, at first I gotta, you know, take my little achievements here, because I'm like, oh, reach a win streak of three, well, well, thank you very much, like, I will uh, unlock that, and so, um, I think I drop right into another battle, and it tells me, you know, your slots are full, I'm like, all right, it doesn't matter, you know, it happens all the time in these kind of games, and so I'm going up against Riley, who's got actually two Black Rangers, you can see he's got the two Wild Force Black Rangers, he's got the one as the leader, one as the support, and we have 618 to 662 uh, health, so he has a little bit of a health advantage, but it doesn't matter because I start off real strong here, I get two pretty good moves, he's throwing out blocks and I'm not even throwing out moves, and then uh, he tries to get a move off on me, I get him with that power pull, I get him with the stun, but unfortunately I don't have anything I can use, so unfortunately I use my power move after he's already revving up his power move, so he's able to get quite a bit of damage off on me and then I choose to block when he's using the charge move but I get my quick attack I get the pull lance I get the stun on but I blocked on accident and I use the quick move get the block 
So like you can see, it's just a back and forth of if you can time your blocks so you can stop their combos, then you get a chance to fight back. But if you accidentally block and they're using a power move, then you get kind of screwed. So like right here, he hits me with another power move, but unfortunately for me, I wasn't blocking, so it didn't uh, didn't stun me and all that. And so I call on the assist because I'm like, oh shoot, I need some help. I got the stun on him, which allows me to do a quick little uh, quick attack, and he backs off because I think both of us didn't have energy. I counter his assist power move with my quick attack, and I'm like, oh shoot, back off, dodge the power move, use a quick attack real quick there, and kick him in the face for the win. That's a win streak of four that I've got going on. This is coming from the guy who lost his very first two matches in PvP, so I am feeling on top of the world right now of course i don't get another box because like it said um you know they were already taken so i open up one of my my little small boxes there i get uh enough of the trini uh zeo crystals to upgrade her so um first i'm gonna tell it to unlock uh, this one that's only gonna take 30 minutes because i was like okay i should be able to at least get that but unlock the achievement for a win streak of four which does put me to level two um which gives me i think a little bit of extra health and stuff like that um and it said it upgraded like ability slots which i'm not really sure what's what that's for but i go ahead and upgrade trini to level two even though i don't really think i'm going to be using her um just because i think i like uh like the other the other assist characters for melee better um also there's alliances i didn't really know what alliance i don't really have a particular alliance i want to join so i just joined one because i think it was it would probably it was probably going to be part of a quest also you can see it was loading up every single message like of people joining and i saw it was like 18 17 days ago i was like uh this will literally take forever so i click out of it and it goes right to the very end so i'm like all right let's go ahead and request shards i just asked for shards for something basic because i was like uh, i don't know like i've been playing billy cranston maybe people will give me billy cranston um but again this is like a alliance that i have no idea anything about so hopefully i'll find an alliance it's a bit more active that I can actually, you know, um, and like I said, I got the quest uh, for for joining Alliance done. So um, hopefully I can find an alliance that's actually pretty good. So I see the Grand Morph box is 24 crystals. I got a bunch of free crystals to start. So I was like, all right, let's let's open up the Grand Morph box, see what we get. So we get some power coins. We get Jason up to 15 out of 20. We get a, Deli, a Danny Delgado and the rare Power Ranger um, enough to upgrade and unlock. So, of course, I'm going to go ahead and go do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade him. So, his Bison Kick goes up from 56 to 70, which is not a huge damage upgrade. But you have to remember his uh, Bison Kick is also a stun. So, um, we'll go ahead and unlock the, uh, the rare Power Ranger assist, which if you look, it's a power assist. And it's 105 damage for the hand cannon shot. So I was like, whoa, that's actually quite a lot of damage. So let's go ahead and assign her. I don't, I didn't really check if it was a melee or a, uh, a ranged attack. So I just went ahead and replaced the Black Ranger. And then I was like, well, I'm five away from getting Jason to level two. So let me go ahead and get him to level two with some of my, uh, my coins, coins that I have. And then maybe he'll actually be better than Billy. So I go ahead and upgrade him. You can see all the little, um, little stat upgrades there. Quite a lot of uh, damage upgrades. Um, and you get a little bit of a health upgrade too. So it's like, okay, Jason's level two. He should be naturally better than the Billy that's level one. So let's hop into a fight with this new found Jason. So I got Jason, I got the, the little ranger, that the yellow ranger, which she also has. We actually have identical assist cards, but again, it's this Zeo pink ranger who's got that shield, which is so annoying. I feel like that shield is so good. And right off the bat, she's already done like 150 damage to me. I'm not really using my moves at the right um, right stage there, but boom, I get a nice little quick little combo off on her. I get the quick attack, I get the spinning spiral thing, which I don't really like the perfect spiral move. Um, it is a range move, it's a range power move, which is nice, but um, I just don't really like it. And so, but right off, I'm starting off pretty good. I've got her down to 481 health. I'm up at 552. I'm all the way at the back of the map, and she still managed to hit me with that. She hits me with, like, some kind of Hadouken thing or whatever, but I'm like, all right, let me get the quick attack off on her. But then she blocks it. She pauses in the assist, gets that little hand cannon going. She's got me pinned in the corner. I'm down to 250 health. She's absolutely rocking me. She's got the block going, so I use the power move. Good timing. I use the quick attack, but I end up only hitting her with the second half of it. I use the quick attack, but her assist beats me, and then she does this spinning shield thing, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. She blocks my quick attack. I'm like, no, but don't end. Oh, there goes the win streak. I was about to hit a win streak of five. But that pink Zeal Ranger, man, that spinning shield move and the Hodoken are just too much. I can't take it. Can't handle it. So let's hop right into the next game. Um, I'm going up against the new pink ranger from the movie. I'm like, all right, you know, she's got a different squad than me. I've got a different squad than her. Let's see if we can get a win here. So we get a nice little dodge on the quick attack and we combo uh, or we counter with our own quick attack. I get a nice little quick combo there and I'm already done 200 damage. She's only level one or he's only level one. Zoltan is only level one and I'm level two. So already I have an advantage because I did 200 damage and I have a 200 health advantage on him. So 
so far things are looking pretty good. I get the block, but unfortunately he's using a charge move. He used a quick attack, I used my quick attack, his is of course faster. So he's already made up the difference. So really like, like he really should be winning this pretty handedly, but uh, luckily I have a little bit of a level advantage to uh, kind of buy me some time. So Kimberly hits with that arrow that I just upgraded. I get the quick attack off. I'm like, all right, 13 health. Let's just play it safe. Wait for them to use a quick attack. She uses one, it pulls me in for some reason. And then I, boom, hit her with the Kimberly arrow. Kimberly, old, beats Kimberly, new. I get the KO, I get the U win, and I'm like, whew, feeling pretty good. You know, I was like, all right, maybe Jason isn't that bad. Also, I got the five assist thing or whatever. So I got another achievement. We hop right into another fight. I've got Jason, I'm at 254 medals. We go up against another Jason, but he's got two different assists, and we're about on the same medal level, um, as well as we have um, about a 200 health advantage on him, which um, is pretty sweet. A big part of that comes from the fact that I think it's that Kimberly is level three. Um, I think uh, he's got three level twos, if you can see in the top right corner, and I've got a three and a two and a one. So I guess the uh, level three beats uh, the, the more even level twos and stuff like that. So I get the spiral shot off on him. He tries to block it, doesn't do anything. I get the Kimberly arrow, which is a nice 87 damage. I go for the quick attack, but his Trini comes in, gives me a little one, two, gets the stun, then he gets me with the quick attack. So um, right now I still have a little bit of a health advantage. Again, I started off with 200 extra health. So I have a bit of a window to uh, kind of take a little bit extra damage. Um, I've got him down to 120 health, so I'm feeling pretty good. I throw out a block. Um, I think right there I threw out that block just because I was trying to shuffle through cards because I knew I wanted to actually like get a move that I could use. So I've got him enough 50 health. I just need to hit him one more time. So I get him with that Kimberly arrow. Boom. Two Kimberly arrow finishes in a row, which is sweet because I just upgraded her level three. So it felt pretty good that I was able to just pop her off, um, you know, with uh, with, uh, with the, the things I just upgraded. So um, this is toward the end of the video. I'm going to unlock another grand morph box. I felt like that was a pretty cool way to end the video. So we get some more power coins. We get Billy Cranston. We can only get 10 of them, so I'm not able to upgrade them. We get enough to upgrade the Zack, and we get four out of 10 of the rare Kimberly, which we just saw in a fight. So I'm like, all right, well, let's go ahead and upgrade um, that Black Power Ranger, even though I'm not really gonna be using him because um, he has the uppercut. I wasn't really a fan of the uppercut, so, but it still gets me a little bit of XP. So I go ahead and upgrade Zack. Um, and I think that is all she wrote. I think, uh, I think that was pretty much all that I could do. I could keep fighting, but there isn't a whole lot of purpose to it. So I just kind of click around, but, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like rating. If you guys want to see more, uh, Power Rangers Legacy Wars, I can definitely do that. Um, you know, it'll probably be like a once every, every other day kind of thing, you know, just so I can make sure I have fun content to put up the whole time. But, uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it again, Support me, uh, leave a comment, stuff like that. And as always, guys, stay classy and keep winning.